Hey everybody, how's it going today? I want to do a review, tour, and comparison of the Cobalt Electrician's Tote. Item number 2416946, 24 pockets, heavy duty water resistant construction. There's a picture there, in the front loaded. A couple other pictures on the inside with some uh, descriptions. Padded shoulder strap, 14, exterior 10, interior pockets, heavy duty water con water resistant construction, so I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of wet on the image there, so I guess it's trying to show you how water resistant it is. Alright, so we're going to start with the front here. We have a logo stitched on, kind of rubbery feel to it. I got my tape measure there. I keep my test leads and my headlamp in the front pocket. My flashlight, my multimeter. I do like to keep my multimeter and test leads separated. So. We have a handle here with a very nice rubber grip and uh, we've got some grip on the sides right here. Very, very nice. Very solid. It does come with a strap. Here's the strap. I like the shape of it, but it's not too thick. The hardware, the straps actually quite nice. So we have two pockets here in the front. Let me give you the tour. So I have my client smaller gauge wire strippers. A non-contact detector 10. A GFCI outlet tester. Digital display. The Klein Cobalt. These are water strippers. Let me turn it this way. We got two pockets with Velcro. I like this one. Look at that. For all your bits. And it keeps them out of the weather. This pocket I like to keep my like, batteries or things that aren't too water resistant. Up right here, warm up. So there are two tight fit pockets behind these pockets. This here is probably for like a pan or a keychain or something for you to keep your stuff together. Let me turn it again. So this side we have four pockets. This here, the AC line splitter. Got my circuit breaker finder. This pocket's empty. And turn it again and come back to the front. So here, I don't have a lot of tools in this bag. This is my clamp meter. My south wire. Pair of gloves. So let's count these pockets here. So we have one big pocket right here. Two, three, four, five pockets. And then we have these slots here for any more of these holes, maybe screwdrivers, something. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So I can have a total of nine pockets here. On this side. Look at my line pliers, my needle nose pliers, dial cutters, little channel lock, a level. Let 
We've got some more pockets here. This side. Those ones I didn't count, but it's pretty much identical to the other side. So there's the overview and the tour of the bag. Now we're going to do a small comparison with a leading competitor. I'm sure everybody knows that name. So we have in the front a pocket. Velcro. So this is kind of like the front from the Cobalt. Uh, the main difference I did notice about these two this pocket is a lot bigger. See this one, I got my tapes and I can barely squeeze them in. So there's a plus on that. Turn it. This one has your clip for your tape measure, two pockets here, two pockets here, whereas the Cobalt it's got the pockets, but no clip. The thing that I did notice though is that um, when I'm reaching for these here, sometimes this, this does kind of get in the way. So you can love it or hate it. Now here's the back side. Now this is pretty much a significant trade off between the two bags. So here. That. This is where I keep these tools. Whereas the cobalt one. So. Turn it off to the side again. I got four pockets. Same thing with the cobalt. Four pockets. Now, turn it back to the front. So, bottom of the coat bag, we have five feet there. This is all metal. We'll have some metal in here too. This one has four feet, but they're a lot bigger. shoulder strap is a lot different in shape and in size it's a size comparison the actual strap you can see the difference in width and another significant difference you'll find is here the handle the handle comes off on your AWP so you can unhook it in case you don't want it in your way at all however you can't unhook it from the other side just one side with your cobalt bag you don't have that option so I just purchased the cobalt bag recently and I've been using this for quite a few months now um, having that strap be able to come off like that it's a plus but I have never just gone in here and said I need something and this be in the way so you'll see I still have easy access So there are several pockets for your all your tools. Let's see how this baby fits. Nice. However, it's not full, so you know, there's gonna be some other tools that take the place of all those spaces pretty soon. And uh let me know if you guys like it, if you hate it, what you do like about it, what you don't like about it. If you'd buy one yourself, me, I like it. You know, I am a Cobalt fan. 
and I do like it. So uh, that concludes our video for today, our comparison. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a nice day.